Yo, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video on the channel. So a big thank you as always. Amazing support over the last month. I've had the best last month on YouTube than what I've had in the last maybe six years. So a big thank you, you know, to all the First Descendant crowd on um, liking all my videos. But today, guys, we're not talking about the First Descendant. We're talking about this great little gem of an indie game I've started playing. I'm... I'm I'm still not great, guys. Um, so again, the gameplay in the background is straight up garbage, but that's not what we're here for today. We're kind of here for a discussion on the future of this game. Now, I've had tried, well, I've tr I've tried having discussions about these flies, right, or mosquitoes, whatever you want to call them, are the most annoying thing in the game. They're even more annoying than the bats what go around. Like, look, I can't even hit it there. It's like, just let me kill it. Jesus Christ, that's all I want to do is kill it. So... Anyway, yeah, try not to puke all over your keyboard, your tablet, your mobile phone, or whatever, you know, getting triggered at how bad the game plays in the background. At the end of the day, guys, I'm not a sweat at any game. However, I kind of respect that video games are lacking in end game content. Um, the reason I say this is right, and I've said this about other video games, and I've been proved right time and time again that Video games need end game content, especially free to play games. You know, people aren't as invested in a free to play game compared to a game where they've already spent 50 quid. We're seeing with the first descendant that the player numbers are dropping. Um, not dropping to any vast extent. You know, let's not, you know, hyperball the situation here. But they are dropping, and that game has got its own problem with its end game content, which I've made various videos about. And to be fair, a lot of people um, agree with me. However, you've probably got the same amount of people, again, who disagree with me. They just like running around in a circle doing the exact same thing all the time. And if you like that kind of content, so be it. You know, I'm not here to tell you what content you like and dislike. All I can tell you from a gameplay point of view that running around in a circle doing the same thing every single time um, isn't really a healthy gameplay mechanic, which... Therefore, the first descendant is actually seeing its play numbers go down. So, Dungeon Born, guys. You know, I've, I've got to the point now where I've leveled pretty much every single character in the game, apart from Priest, because Priest is a character more team-related, you know, a lot of healing and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've kind of found my favourite character in the game, which is the Swordmaster. Low-key, well, it's not low-key. It's definitely overpowered. I've... I think the Druid and Swordmaster, as I'm making this video, are just ridiculous. Um, like, I've tried playing Rogue, and Rogue is just dreadful. But again, you know, Rogue's got its own different playstyle from, you know, a lot of these things. So, you know, I've had a lot of fun. I'm maybe 30, 40 hours into my Dungeonborn experience, and I've kind of hit a brick wall. The reason I'm making this video, which I finally got round to it, is that just... There's no real, like, what am I supposed to do? Obviously, if you don't know what Dungeon Born is, basically Dungeon Born, it's like, I, th I think they describe it as a first-person PvPVE dungeon um, crawler, and it's kind of like got extraction gameplay. Um, and as you can see, it's like fantasy kind of like class design. Um, so obviously you've got swordsmen, like sorcerers, stuff like that. Um, you know, it's pretty much Dead by Daylight. A lot of people, sorry, Dead by Daylight, what am I on about? Dark and darker, I meant to say. Um, and a lot of people go, no, it's just a rip-off. It's, it's not a rip-off, it's just inspired by it. You know, all these assets, what both games use, are readily available, you know, for developers to actually use um, on the Unreal Engine. So, you know, let's just get out of that. So, yeah, Dungeon Born, um, I think it peaked at its highest players ever, around four or five days ago at, like, 39,000. It's at 30,000 right now. And I've tried mentioning this on Reddit, but everybody just loses the goddamn mind, which, again, is a big problem with, like, video game communities, that you can't be critical of, of anything now in the video game industry. You just get labelled as a hater. No, I absolutely love this game. However, I'm 30 hours into it, and I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do now? I've levelled everything up to level 30, and, and, and I know I'm not alone. I've levelled everybody up, sorry, to level 20, uh, apart from Priest. And I'm like, well, what's the point in this game now? You know, the heirloom system, I've pretty much got everything unlocked. Um, what is there to do? Like, yes, there's a three versus, well, three versus three team deathmatch leaderboard. They've just put on an adventure leaderboard um, for solos, and then there's one for duos and trios. However, it's a KDA leaderboard. I'm like, well, why not just have total kills? Because then that gives some 
that gives people something to grind to keep them playing that they want to get the most kills. But then the people who like playing as a rogue, rogue are not going to get, you know, a lot of kills. They're not going to have a high KDA because that's just not the rogue's playstyle. You could argue, oh, rogue, you're supposed to third party, all this, that, and that. No, rogue in this game is quite clearly a stealth class where you're just going to drop in, use a rogue to get as much loot as possible and get out of there and then obviously use that loot, sell it to the merchant or whatever. And then you're going to use that loot to, you know, buy stuff for your other more aggressive classes if you want to go, like, round and try to kill stuff. So, I just think that this game needs an end game. It needs it quick. I think Dark and Darker's got a much better end game. I know this game's only just come out. You know, it's full, re well, it's early access release. But it's been around for a long time, Dungeon Born. I just hope that they, I just hope the developers don't, end up the same way as Grey Zone Warfare developers. Another game I made a video on, because when that game first came out in early access, every single streamer was saying, oh, this game's amazing. Like, you know, any form of... Well, anybody with any form of intelligence knew that, you know, this game was going to be a cash grab. All the content creators pretty much reading from a script saying the exact same thing as each other. You know, that game peaked around 70,000 um, players on Steam about two months ago. Guess how many people are playing that game right now? 1,800 people, guys. And that was because, yes, you can buy influences to hype a game up, but that's not to keep your game going long term. Long term, you need a good gameplay mechanic. You need a good end game. And again, we're already starting to see this very, very slightly in the first descendant because the end game isn't really there now. And I'm hoping Dungeon Born don't go the same way as a lot of these games and just ignore all critical feedback and just focus on the positives. Yes, positive feedback is great, but ultimately you need constructive criticism and more and more so in the whole gaming community. Like I've said earlier in the video, if you come out with anything constructive, it's just labeled as hate. Oh, just go and play a different game. You know, that's all I get all the time on all my videos. Like, Oh, you just hate it. Go and play another game if you don't like it. It's like, what a absolute knobhead mentality to have. You know, I'm just trying to come out with stuff to try to make a video game better, what I enjoy, to make it even better. But no, I'm labelled as a hater. It's, it's just a disgrace that gamers now just think, oh, well, if you don't like the game, don't play it. I've never said I don't like it. I just think that this game could do a lot better. I want the game to be around a long time. Um, and it needs to do something fast towards end game. Yes, leaderboards are a quick fix for this type of a game mode. You know, have a loot leaderboard that goes on how much gold you've earned. Have a total kills leaderboard. They're two just off the top of my head, and I'm pretty new to this genre. Um, again, at this moment in time, guys, all you do is just go out, buy better gear, get gold. It needs to be better than that, you know. I've already seen people running around with full purple stuff. The occasional um, legendary. I think there's a few uniques knocking around somewhere. So again, guys, um, great game. Don't take this video the wrong way. I just think that they need to hurry up and add end game content to keep people grinding, so to speak. You know, to keep people interested and engaged in this wonderful video game. I just think it needs a little bit of a tiny push in the right direction. Um, so hopefully developers just don't listen to everybody on Reddit and the majority of social media platforms saying this game's amazing, super great. Yes, it is all of that. But again, there's also stuff they need to work on. So yeah, big thank you everybody for watching. Yeah, love you all. Have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.